One thing that I learned, especially from the, um, the Egola tours, um, is that they've been very smart to maximise um, how they actually do the, the tours, to maximise the numbers of, of the people coming out. In Timor, we actually tend to do a little bit longer because of the restrictions that we've got also on like access to villages um, that are quite far because we're right in the middle of a city and um, there's a lot of transit and um, you know it's very difficult to run tours that are very short but um, the fact that they've maximized the, the amount of buses that they've got and tried to do like three tours a day that just means we're getting a lot more people on those guided tours uh, and that was uh, something that for me it was like I have to go back and really rethink my product here. Yeah. The biggest highlight for me was the festival that they created yesterday that was um, I know it was organized um, and it was a lot of concentration of people in, in one area um, from different tribes, different dances and demonstrations and souvenirs. I think number one will be introducing more village experiences which enables us to involve a lot more of the local communities and gives us an opportunity to make them more aware of what the tourists are looking for on the cruise ships and what our responsibilities are to those tourists to protect the industry. Definitely the village experience, um, the traditional food and then the way that they were able to share tradition and culture with us including the amazing canoe story um, that goes with part of this area and their local traditions. And we take them out on a village tour and uh, we also, before we go to the village tour, we also take them around uh, town to show them a glimpse of what our town is like. Everybody says it's fantastic, it's brilliant, it's the best experience. Uh, being in PNG for the first time, to see the real life in PNG. Some tourists are just like speechless of what they see. Whoever that comes to Olotau, it's something that you've never experienced in a whole lifetime. The number one for myself to, uh, that I, I feel like this is uh, very important for me is that uh, the cultures of um, uh, Olotau is, uh, is still uh, really strong so when the visitors come here they may look at the people people are so friendly and then they show their culture and then the livelihoods and uh, no no problems here I have, have been walking um, since yesterday to everywhere and then I visit the, the traditional houses and people are, are all very friendly